Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And today let's talk about this another dynamic programming problem. This one is problem 1289 from Recode. And so let's let's solve this problem. So here is our problem and I want you to pause this video and just look at the problem and see the example. So this problem is another dynamic programming problem and so why is this dynamic programming? What is the optimal substructure here in this case? So what do I mean by optimal substructure? If I give you this problem where you have to find the shortest path from, from Seattle to LA and then you have to pass go through San Francisco. Well, I mean, from here to here, from Seattle to San Francisco, you would take the path B and then from San Francisco to LA, you would have to take the path E. Now, what is suboptimal substructure meaning? So in other words, you, if you want to find the shortest path from Seattle to LA, you first have to find the shortest path from Seattle to San Francisco, and then you have to find the shortest path from San Francisco to LA, and then you add them up. So that's, that's what you mean by, what we mean by having an optimal substructure in this case. Well, obviously, if, if there is a direct path from Seattle to LA, then this problem is not a um, optimal substructure. So just be careful in that. So let's work on this problem. So this is our uh, two-dimensional matrix. We call that grid. And so, I mean, the first row is just that. So, so basically, we will create a um, DP matrix of size n by n where n is the length of this uh, matrix and we are given a square matrix okay so first row for dp you just initialize it by setting it equal to dp of 0 comma j is just equal to grid of 0 comma j so basically this one is just same as this guy 0 comma 0 dp of 0 comma 1 is just grid of 0 comma 1 and so on for the second row, you are basically, so we have to follow this rule. We have to follow this rule where you cannot choose two elements in a JSON row that are in the same column. So basically for this guy, you would have to choose either number from here or here. And then you have to add this guy. You take the minimum of these two, and then you just add this number, this guy, four, and then you add them up and you get six. For this guy, you will be looking at the of the previous row, this number, and this number, so one and three, and then you add this five, and you get six, and you do the same thing, and you keep doing it, and for the last row, you do the same thing, for this guy, you'll be looking at the minimum of this six and seven, obviously the minimum is six, and then you add seven, so you get thirteen. You also do, you do the same thing you get the 14 and 15 you take you find the minimum of this the last row that is 13 and you return that answer well that's that's it for this problem and let's see how we can code this up um okay first okay so the we have to find the dimension of this and and if we only have one number so if the dimension is one by one, then we just return that number. That will be return grid zero. Okay. And then we initialize our DP matrix. So that will be zero, four in range N, four in range N. Okay. And we initialize the, initialize the first row of this DP. So that will be, uh, Okay, for j in range n, dp of 0j is just grid 0 comma j. Okay, now we have to do the, uh, we have to run the for loop twice for i in range 1 to n, for j in range n. Okay, and uh, well, if the, uh, okay, uh, we can do it in this way, very simple. So if we are on the first column, if j is equal to zero, so that's the first column, dp of i comma j is just minimum of 
FTP of so we are looking at the last row and everything except the first guy and then we take the minimum and then we add this grid i comma j and um, next one if j is equal to n minus one so if we are look if if we, if we are looking at this last column so when we are on the last column it will be just dp of i j equal to just mean dp of i minus one and um, yeah everything except j plus grid i comma j and then else you'll be just dp of i comma j it's just minimum of okay so in case it will be just minimum dp i minus one comma j and then minimum dp i minus one j plus one and then plus grid i comma j so basically um we are taking so if we are say at here so the this else part will be here so if we are not on the first column or the last column then we will be just taking the minimum from first column all the way to the um, so j minus one column you take the minimum so you that will give you the minimum from first column all the way to j minus one column you also take the minimum of the you also look at the minimum from j plus one column all the way to the last uh, last column and you find the minimum here you find two you find the minimum of those two numbers and you add them you add this grid and uh, I think this should be it and then return uh, minimum dp of n minus 1 Sh this one should be it let's see okay um so just want, I just want to emphasize that you can actually optimize this a lot so you don't you don't actually need the um, say n by n matrix how many rows do you need you actually need two rows to compute this so i actually want you to try that part and yeah uh, so i will leave that up to you and so that is for this problem and if my video helps please subscribe to my channel and so my plan is i will probably do more um, dynamic programming problems I will get some more problems from say um, code force and hackers rank so i will do greedy and so i will so my plan is i will probably do more deep dynamic programming problems and greedy problems and um yeah that's that's it for this video and thank you so much you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the evening thank you bye bye